Hello, welcome to our happy little bubble. Um, we decided to have a little night away up in Northumberland. And this is Bordeaux's Hut near Hamsterley Mill. This is a private farm. This is our driveway in. Um, beautiful driveway in. Autumn colours, but probably the wettest trip we've ever had. Um, so yeah, up this driveway into a private farm where there was some holiday cottages as well. And here is our hut. Nice little hut with central heating, outdoor hot bath. Um, in the middle of, as you can see, quite a peaceful woodland. Nice and clean, cool little space with um, pull down bed, seating area, kitchen and bathroom. And this was our little night. Um, had a little pack lunch, watched a bit of TV, and then we got sorted to go for a nice little walk up um, through the woods up to Hamsterley Hall um, Manor House, which is an old house that's been renovated by a family. Um, very pretty, but you'll see that in a minute. And here is Hamsterley Hall. As you can see, probably the wettest walk we've ever been on, but it wasn't cold, it was quite warm. And the walk kind of goes around the outskirts of the grounds of Hamsterley Hall, which was really beautiful with all the autumn colours. Um, Milo had lots of fun coming with us for this trip. And then as we walk through, as you'll see in a minute, we get to the big gate house um, of Hamsterley Hall. Um, and then we had a little walk around the grounds there, back up to the cabin to make some tea. tell that we'd arrived on after the uh, end of a big storm in England because the water levels were crazy as you can see there we then on the way back round took a little detour just because we had a bit more time before it started to get dark and you'll see in a minute just how much water was coming through some of these fords and some of these areas of the forest but it was very cool and very relaxing
flew out breaking everything. So despite the rain, we decided to brave the outdoor bath, which we're so glad we did because it was absolutely amazing, red hot, and to be in the forest with the rain and to hear all the sounds of the forest in the dark was quite special. Um, but as you'll see, we ended up having another bath um, on the morning after when the, when the rain had stopped, which was equally as nice. But if I had to choose which one was the best, it was definitely when it was cold and raining on the night. And for our way back home, we decided to call into the little village of Corbridge. This is a great little shop. Um, it's quite difficult to find. There's a petrol station and you kind of go up behind the petrol station into this little courtyard where there's an antique shop and then this really cool bits and bob shop, um, which is dead interesting. We had a little look around Corbridge and stopped for a pint before heading home for tea. Oh, have we got different types? 